Hey guys, it's going and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, a couple months ago, I uploaded a little short Instagram Reel TikTok about how you can use a PS4 controller on Xbox only input games. Now, I got quite a good response and a lot of people were asking me to go into it into a bit more depth. So this is what this video is about. So today, I'm gonna to teach you how to use uh, PlayStation controllers on Xbox only games on PC using DualShock 4 Windows, DS4 Windows, whatever you want to call it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come to the DS4, DS5 Windows website, which I'll put a link in the description. A lot of people thought it was a scam, which looking at the website now, it does look quite scammy. I'm not going to lie, because you've got like fat off ads everywhere. But it's probably just how they're making their money. And for free piece of software, I'm not going to complain. But I've had this thing installed for a couple years now, and I've never had any problems at all with it. Never had any malware, that kind of thing. So I can happily say you can fully trust it. So straight onto the um, DS4 Windows website, head on over to the download page, and you want to want to download the latest version, uh, which is this one. So it was created on February 7th updated October 6th. Click download and wait for the magic to begin. I'm gonna save it into my desktop. I'm gonna save that and there we go. Downloaded. Downloading. Done. Cool. Right, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to my desktop, find wherever it downloaded. There it is. I'm going to open it and pull over the DS4 Windows to my homepage and then I'm going to move this back over. But you can put it wherever you'd like. I mean, I'm just going to put it here for now so I can show what to do. And you're going to open it. And here you see you've got the updater and you've got the actual application. But yeah, so this is where the application is. I'm going to click on the exe file and that will bring open the DS4 windows. Um, pick where you want to profiles and settings to be saved. Other locations will be deleted. So I'm going to click on program folder because it will save it in this folder here. And basically this is where you want to enable the devices. So basically all I'm doing right now is the PlayStation 4. So that's a DualShock 4 controller. So I'm just gonna click on DualShock 4 device port. If I want to do PS5 or Switch or Joy-Cons and stuff, then there you go. But I'm just gonna do DualShock 4 for this one. So I'm gonna click that and then click close. And here you go. So this is the application window. So obviously you can see I've got no controls connected right now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to settings and I'm gonna click hide DS4 windows. Now essentially from what I know, I believe what this does is it basically tells your PC to not to show this application. So when you open up those Xbox only games, it won't detect that you've got like some sort of emulator running. So I'm just gonna have that running. And whenever I play Forza or some other games like kind of Halo and stuff, which don't accept um, PlayStation 4 controllers, it's fine, it works every time. There has been a few times where I've somehow glitched it, but it's been my PC really, because my PC is getting pretty slow. It's like five years old now. But yeah, this is just gonna let you play games without any hassle. Um, so always click that before connecting. You've also got quite a lot of our options, so you can do switch touchpad to switch profiles and stuff. You can do run a startup, which if you're gaming a lot on that, you can do this thing I really like. Now, flash light bar at high latency. I use this PS4 controller with the Bluetooth setting, and my PC's under my desk, and sometimes if I have it like, see if I'm playing like that, then the latency goes really high, so it flashes and tells me, oi, get back to the Bluetooth. So yeah, so I've got a range of options here. Um, checking for updates is really good, because it makes sure that every time you open it, it checks for updates. Anyway, right, let's to it. So I'm gonna go back to the controllers window, and my PS4 controller is connected through Bluetooth, so when I turn it on, it should connect. Yep connecting and then it'll ask you I don't know if your screen will show but it'll ask do you want to allow us up from an unknown publisher to make changes yes and just like that it should in a second come up there we go so got the ID the status Bluetooth and um, the battery is at 62% and the light bar is blue now you can click on this and you can choose custom colors so as you go through and change different colors you can change it as well I really like the purpley one um, it's gonna cross that it tells me your battery's um, at 62% and just to show you that you can play games on it I'm gonna open Forza Horizon 5 and I'll show you how it gets a bit seamless so as you can see um, it's come up with obviously Xbox controls so when I go down to my Supra it's all good to go so now I'm running a very high power car right now so I probably want to get any traction but we're working and 
it is all good. So there you go, that's how you can use a PlayStation 4 controller to play Xbox only games on PC. I've been using this for ages now and I've not had too many problems. The only problem I had was the DS4 Windows button wouldn't hide, so I had to just reinstall it. But again, I'm pretty sure it was a worse save the file, so I didn't properly extract it. So that was probably just causing like a glitch or whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you do have any problems, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll try and help as much as I can. Shout out to whoever makes this. Um, I wish I could donate because I actually use this all the time. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.